Here's another ruined by capacitors ECU. This is out of a uh, late 80s Toyota truck with the 22R and the feedback carburetor feedback solenoid. Um, you can see right there those capacitors have leaked. This capacitor has leaked. You can see it there. I don't know if this is going to fix this. I cleaned it off and it's just amazing how absolutely trashed. And I don't understand how the electrolyte got to the bottom of the board. Anyway, I'm going to try changing these and see if we get duty cycle to the mixture control solenoid, but I don't know, this might be too far gone. Who knows what else the electrolyte damaged. And checking these traces, every single one of them's open. Every one of them is bad. This is just a feedback controller for a computer controlled carburetor. This doesn't have a processor and a crystal and software in it. So simply just look at the O2 sensor and kind of modulate uh, duty cycle the the carburetor air bleed valve um, to keep the O2 sensor switching up and down regulate the CO and allow the catalytic converter to work so what I've done is I've pulled the capacitors off of a uh, TV board because um, I don't have high hopes for this most of these traces are open. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but these are open. Even some of these big ones are open, like here. And that's probably the reason why it completely failed when the traces went open. But we're going to give this a shot. These, this corroded solder is really hard to work with. And yeah, these are Panasonic capacitors. Uh, and it's only the big ones that have leaked. All the smaller ones still test good. Yeah, that's all the broken traces along with those wires. Uh, and up here it needed some repair. Um, the capacitors have all been changed. The ones that were bad, I just used some used ones out of a TV because I really don't expect this to work because the, the odds are, well, there's 50-50 odds that all that leakage between the traces damaged some of these components. I know these are old analog components, but still. But we'll try it. The thing about this is the truck will run fine without this. This doesn't do timing. All it does is feedback. So it just runs rich without this. Anyway, I'm sorry I did this video on 640 by 480. Let's see what happens. If we have success, this light will flash duty cycle. We do have, we do have duty cycle there now or something. Now as the oxygen sensor warms up and the voltage goes up, that will get brighter. And when it goes to 100%, that's it trying to lean the system out. And there it is. So I think, we, I think we've had success here. Okay, we are not in closed loop yet. Um, this is looking at the O2 sensor. It's still kind of cold. Okay, we're cruising along here still not in closed loop that should be going up and down there could very possibly be something else wrong need to look at the what that solenoid is being commanded to do okay we just went into closed loop so it actually is in closed loop these are just not real good at it, but you can see it switching there. Uh, and I'm looking at the emissions, and the emissions are great. 
So that's really what we're after here is I'm gonna take it up a little higher here. Yeah, we're, we're definitely in closed loop. Here's in a different uh, speed and second gear. So yeah, it's, it's looking good now. Looking real good.